let's start with these five first steps. What would you recommend somebody who's starting from scratch and really has absolutely no idea how this all comes together, but really does foresee themselves taking control of their finances and their income? They want to yeah. replace what they're earning now. Sure. Where do I even begin? If someone's getting into the short-term rental game, I guess of this, and really wanting to make it, you know, either a full-time thing or a supplement their income, I think something that's huge is understanding to treat it like a business. Yeah. And I think what we mean really by that is set up an entity, like start separating, you know, like there is so many benefits to owning a business and you need to part participate in that once you set up that entity. So the yeah. write-offs, like any of the furnishings, like anything that you're really doing, like yeah. make sure to have that on there. Setting up an entity is huge. Like have your business accounts and you don't want to co-mingle any of your personal and your business funds. The quicker you can do it at the beginning to do that, set up your QuickBooks, get a corporate credit card or, you know, like have that mm -hmm. separate is going to, is going to be so good just to build off that foundation. So that's probably a first step, I would say. If you do the right things with your business from the get-go, yeah. you know, the businesses that do the right things tend to stay in business, right? So mm -hmm. it can take you to some pretty magical places. So. Yeah. <laughs> did, and I mean, did you guys ever think you'd be pulling $80,000, $85,000 in a month? And the funny thing is you're just getting going. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, you guys could literally be at a quarter million a month before you know it. You pulled this yeah. off in literally your second year. So it's really remarkable. And I hope yeah. people are taking away what you're saying here, because I'm so glad you started with these fundamental semantic. I mean, this is just logistical stuff. It's it's so unsexy to go out and set up an entity. It's also one of the easiest things to do. I don't care where you mm. live. The price yeah. varies depending on where you live, but it's just as easy regardless of where you're mm -hmm. living and go out and set up the bank accounts. It's a pain in the ass. You got to deal with the banks. Yes. Yeah. You got to deal with the banks. And guess what? Like you said, you set it up in the beginning and it's there for you forever. No yeah. real business avoids this stuff. No. Pay the tax man. Please pay the tax. <laughs> yeah. Have yeah. a good accountant. Yeah, pay like, the tax man. <laughs> yeah. Set it up correctly. You know, pay what you're owed, but you know, don't leave a tip. We'll yeah, exactly. So, <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah. what's step number two? Any new business you're starting in the beginning can feel like you're the, the chief, the cook, and the bottle washer, you know, that kind of analogy. But as you grow, you really want to focus on building your team so that you offload as many of the day-to-day -day tasks as you can. Mm -hmm. So at the stage we're at right now, you might think that Katrina and I with you know, 16 properties, soon to be 25, we'd be pulling our hair out with, you know, all the logistical things that happen on a day-to-day -day basis. We probably spend maybe an hour or two a day managing mm -hmm. kind of the day-to-day -day stuff. So that can be just, you know, checking our pricing, you know, coordinating with our maid staff to make sure things are going smoothly, answering inquiries as they come in. But, you know, the majority of our time right now is just spent on setting up additional deals, right? And the reason why we can do it and add inventory so quickly is because we already have the team, the systems, and the automation in place to be mm -hmm. able to handle that. So we're just basically plugging in inventory into the existing systems. Yeah. So, so, so main thing is, yeah, have your team, set up your systems, and when you have that in place, you can scale this thing to the moon. Yeah, I mean, you guys are definitely singing my favorite songs. Let me ask you this. How geographically mobile is your business at this point? Can you guys literally be located anywhere in the world and be operational is this becoming more and more virtual for you yeah certainly so i mean the cool thing is once you kind of learn the skills and you get these key players in place to run like the day-to-day -day stuff for you mm -hmm. you can literally take this anywhere in the world having that boots on the ground is huge right so that's part of that team and having people you trust so i mean even when we're getting into um, arizona one of our partners um, has like team there already and we're really plugging into that so using those resources that you have is huge right like if you see that opportunity and like someone's already you can partner up with them if they have some short-term rent rentals and start doing more together right like it's really cool when you start opening up your mind like you don't have to do it yourself you can start partnering with people so yeah yes you can do it from anywhere in the world long story short <laughs> That's what you want. You want to be able to work from anywhere that you can plug in, in my opinion. That's that's yeah. a huge priority for me and, and probably tops my list as far as prerequisites when it comes to business ventures is geographical mobility, for sure. For Absolutely. Sure. Absolutely. This is definitely one of those. We've got our entities and bank accounts. We've got systems, yeah. processes, and teams. What's Correct. number three? If you really want to be successful with this and have an actual real business, 
you know, just be prepared to put in the work because, you know, at the stage that we're at right now, like, yeah, it sounds great. We only work a couple hours a day. We go on and, vacation. You know, and, and, yeah, you guys are really making it sound easy. <laughs> yeah, like it sounds a lot. I mean, we maybe, we're, we're not trying to, you know, dress it up and make it seem easier than it is. There's definitely a lot that went into that, but we would say to anyone that's getting involved, just be prepared to put the work in because yeah. when you're starting something from scratch, it's almost like you're kind of pushing a boulder up a hill in the beginning just to kind of get the momentum built up. But as soon as you get kind of over, you know, the other side of the mountain, you get that downward momentum and it just, it's almost like it takes on a life of its own, mm -hmm. right? So mm -hmm. just be prepared to put that work in up front. And I mean, we haven't even really been at this long. We're only 22, 23 months into this. And, you know, now we're really starting to see almost that compounding nature of all the work, all the hours we put in. Uh, in the start and you know it's really uh, it's really starting to pay off now stick so. with it I think that's big like don't give up like if it's if there's a hard day there'll be good days I think that's the main thing now I could just sit and listen to you guys all day long greatest <laughs> hits over here greatest hits yeah <laughs> Absol absolutely the truth I think people are just much too afraid to put in the consistent effort it's not easy and people want easy far too often yes. which is why I think most people are not cut out to be entrepreneurs even yeah. though they dream of the life. It's too uncomfortable. It's too scary. And for those reasons, people bow out because people are seeking comfort. Anyhow, I think that's probably yeah. in line with what you're saying. Entrepreneurship is not watching like Gary V videos and, you know, thinking you're making progress just because you're watching lots of content <laughs> and nothing against Gary V. His, his stuff is awesome. But it's, are you willing to put the work in day in, day out, and, and be accountable. Show up every yeah. day, you know, deal with things when it's super inconvenient, uncomfortable, <laughs> and still push through it regardless. Yeah, the only time I saw Gary V live, he said, the fact that you're even sitting here means that you're fucking up. You know, he, <laughs> he literally told everybody to get up at break and go home <laughs> in the middle, in the middle of this full day conference. So yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, uh, he'll be the first person to tell you to stop listening to content and get to freaking work. And that yeah. is absolutely the case. I mean, for those of you listening, I guess that would be our first call to action here is push pause or go ahead and stop this video altogether and start getting on the phone and making some <laughs> phone calls, right? So where are we at now? We're on uh, number four. Focus on creating that track record. Building that track record is really, you know, it really does come down. I mean, you can make as much money in this world as you want, but if you don't have integrity behind it and you lose that, you lose everything. And we've had to see that just of some of our partners when it hasn't worked out with them, right? And just that integrity, we'll never work with them again. And it just shows how important it is for us to have that like consistency, respect, and integrity with who we do partner with. And even we call our landlords partners too, because yeah. they are really partnering with us, allowing us to short-term rental of their homes and having that trust so that is going to go miles and it has for our business so much because yes we're growing up to 25 properties in the next few months here those are all referrals every single one of those are referrals we haven't had That's to go out and get our own deal since probably a year and a half ago. year and a half ago we That's haven't had incredible. to get our own deal yeah you know and we're it growing a lot a, yeah yeah <laughs> so i mean so reputation development is is worth so much more than you can ever possibly imagine. And if yeah. you if you abuse the reputation you have, there will be no faster way to start losing opportunities. You have to develop the reputation. And I think that is huge for you to acknowledge here is allow your reputation to do the selling for you because it is unbelievably beneficial and it makes things almost easy. It's almost like you're not even really selling anymore, right? Ever. It's just you know, like people are coming to you saying, Hey, I heard about this. Like, how does this work? And you just say, well, yeah, I mean, this is essentially <laughs> what we do. This is how it works. This is how we've set it up. Like, you know, do, do, do you want to, you know, do you, this what, what you, yeah. like, are you all right? Are you on board or not? Simple. Yeah. Enough, right. You yeah. don't have to talk anybody in it. In fact, the people you have to talk into it are usually the worst candidates. They're the ones yeah. that are usually going to end up being bad to work with and aren't even really entrepreneurs in the first place. Now, before 100%. we get into how you guys can help people on this channel who are really entrepreneurs and are just looking for that, that next empire to start building, what is, what is number five here? What I would say is just really treat your partners like gold. Mm -hmm. right? Because they are, because you don't know, you don't know who people know, right? And mm -hmm. one relationship can lead to who and knows what, yeah. yeah. Like, so specifically in our case, we had one partner where 
she essentially introduced us to her boyfriend, which owns uh, or owns you know a rather large home building company locally here. And you know he's one of these fellas where you would never know him by looking at him on the street, but you know he basically owns half the city kind of thing, yeah. right? So um, that's led to you know some of the biggest deals that we've done to date. You know he's helping us expand internationally now you know, by you know expanding down into Arizona. And none of that would have happened though if we didn't treat our first partner with absolute integrity and respect, right? Mm -hmm. We've made decisions on the basis that, okay, even if this costs us a little bit money right now, if it helps strengthen the relationship with the people that we're working with, we always think long-term, mm -hmm. right? And that's what I would say is like, treat your partners like gold, think long-term, focus on doing the right things and you know the right things will end up happening to you. And that can go, even go that. down to partners as little as like a cleaner, like yeah. our cleaners in our mm -hmm. business, giving, we get bonuses to them. Like they're, they're, uh, you know, subcontractor and everything, but they had a rough day. Honestly, sometimes I'll buy a, like a case of beer for them. Like I love it. you understand that they have a really crappy job. Like it's hard and you understand that they're human and what happens and you have to respect that. Right. So like we just took our handyman and his wife out to dinner. Like you're not above any of these roles. And that's how I guess we really see our company that way. Like we're not some huge conglomerate where you know we have 25 properties but we see your people you're really helping us grow like make sure you keep them happy because yeah. they're your core people and you don't want to <laughs> you want to make sure that that's our partnership as well so it's not just partners you're partnering properties on but people who help run the daily operations as well 100 yeah i love you guys man you guys definitely have in my opinion, a winning formula. It's obviously being proven by the scoreboard, right? You don't need my opinion on that. Just look at the numbers. So keep it up. Obviously, you guys are designing a solution for people who are in a similar position where they're fed up maybe with the exist, existing trajectory of their life, of their, of their profession, of their income. They want more freedom. They, they like the stuff that that we are here celebrating. So obviously we've set up an email and we do this with everybody we bring on the channel when there is a solution to be had where you guys have been offering to even have interaction with people and consult with them to just say, hey, here's where you, you might be and where you want to get to and how what might be a, a, a roadmap or a part of the participation in your program that, that they can uh, take advantage of. Sure. Tell us a little bit about what that looks like. What have you guys created as far as fast tracking people? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I mean, this has been an interesting development for us recently too, because this was something that wasn't even, to be honest, really on our radar <laughs> in the beginning as we got our business going. But as we started expanding, like what ended up happening uh, last October, like I put out a post because we were, you know, at, at that point, one year in the business and just kind of talked about our trials, tribulations, ups, downs, you name it. And we just started having people literally reach out to us and start asking for help, you know, whether they already got started in short-term rentals or they're completely from scratch. So, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of development's gone into that since then, but you know, we've created a one-on-one uh, -on -one mentoring program called uh, the B&B Bootcamp. Mm -hmm. And, you know, typically we work with one or two kinds of people. One, it's like that person you're saying where <clears throat> maybe they're in a place where they're not super happy right now with where they're at with their career, their income, their life, you know, what have you. And we customize a plan to go from starting from scratch to building up to that desired income that they may want. Or it could be the person that uh, maybe they've already got a couple deals under their belt, you know, they have some experience, but they're just stuck and they're not sure how to get to that next level. Um, you know, we've certainly had that experience ourselves, but, um, you know, really that's what we do is we find out where you're at, where you want to go, how, you know, short-term rentals can be the vehicle to help you get there. And then we just basically design and build a plan and show people specifically what needs to happen in each area of the business. Like mm -hmm. how do you go get deals? How do you price your properties properly? How do you set up your teams and infrastructure? How do you manage the cash flow in your business so that you're not having to be, you know, data entry bookkeeper person? Mm -hmm. You know, how do you do all these different things in a way where once you set it up once, it takes very little of your time to manage so that you can focus on the highest leverage activities and, you know, continually expand and scale to whatever level that you want. 
Yeah. So. so our program is about a 90 day program that we work one-on-one -on -one mentoring ship with. Yeah. So, and, and it's with us, it's one-on-one -on -one with us. Um, and really just, so for us, it's super important that, you know, we're aligned with them and we can really help. And so we always like just to, you know, have the consulting and the initial like phone calls with people just to see what their goals are. And I think with that, I mean, mainly a lot of our coaches are actually down in the States um, quite a bit, yeah. like, um, but really we can do this from all over the world. A lot of people are like, Oh, can you guys really help if you're not from our area? It's, it's, it's yes, you know, um, you know, a lot of our automations and systems, it's, you know, uh, it's market analysis of your area. So we're very specific and one on one on what you're looking for and your goals. Yeah, I love it. And I can give you like one example. So we had one client, he reached out to us uh, the start of January this year. Mm -hmm. um, and a really interesting guy, like he had started last fall and went and got a couple of properties under his belt, did well in the first couple of months thought he had it all figured out, um, went pretty AWOL and then ended up getting 13 properties in the next 90 days, which I mean, kudos to him for kicking ass and taking action. This is before he met us. <laughs> um, but then he hadn't gone through a slow season in his market. So he hadn't experienced what that's like and how you adjust and adapt. So he reaches out to us and says, guys, like, I'm not sure what to do here. My rents have grown to $20,000 a month that I have to pay. It's the middle of January. I only have $5,000 in bookings. Like, what do I do? Right. <laughs> so we took him on and we just went through like in a one hour phone call, we worked just on his pricing strategy. And within the next 24 hours, literally less than a day, he made more than $4,000 in bookings just yeah. like that. And that month he cleared his expenses and he's just done phenomenal since then. Like, yeah. So literally within 24 hours, it paid for your, for your services. Yeah. I mean, More it's than. a pretty good, R, pretty good ROI. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, we've set up an email address so that people can learn more from you guys. We're at BNB bootcamp at VIP financial education.com. That will get you guys directly to Michael and Katrina. You guys, obviously I could sit here literally for the next two hours and continue picking your brains. I think you guys have a tremendous amount of value to offer. So I really appreciate you guys sitting with us. I'd love to have you back on the channel if you're open to it. Yeah. Continue to share sure. your sure. updates. We'd love and to. Yeah. <laughs> okay. As you guys get to working with some of our audience members, one of my favorite things to do is to then reconnect with our audience to see how their interaction was with you and everybody can kind of share their successes and, and some of the hardships too. And uh, certainly, yeah. so we, we really could not thank you enough. Thank you guys again. This has been terrific. And I, I certainly hope that people who are, are interested in this business model reach out again, that's BNB bootcamp, BNB, the acronym bootcamp at vipfinancialeducation.com guys until we see you on the next video i hope you guys all uh, take care stay safe of course and keep cash flowing yeah thanks guys thanks so much thanks see for ya. having us thank you too